Hey, sorry. Can everyone hear me? Just waiting for everyone to join and then we're good to start. Um, so, yeah, cool. Been um, asked by quite a few people to do a back testing session for a long period of time. So that's what I'm going to do now is basically just go through a random chart and show you how I've back tested in the past. Because um, I know a lot of people struggle with it. Um, I'm recording. So, of course, put your questions that you have um, in the chat down the right hand side. And um, I'll try and get through them all. But... I'm going to plow through because if I answer everybody's questions, we won't really get anywhere. So I just want to try and have a really nice, smooth back testing session. Um, so let me share my screen. Hang on a second. Where are we? And then we'll get going. Anyone take any trades today so far, by the way, out of interest? Your <clears throat> Right. And if you see me going to the top of the screen, it's just because I keep um, letting people in the ch in the room. Um, all right, so I'm going to get straight to this and explain how I do it. Right, I know a lot of people use different tools. I've always just used TradingView. I found TradingView really easy to use, and um, I'm going to pick. I don't normally do the pairs that I'm already trading because I I want it to be a test of skill um, and kind of just surprise in terms of price action and everything that I'm looking at. Um, so I always just choose a random pair just to try and sharpen skills. Of course, if you're trying to find a new pair to trade um, and, you know, maybe you want to look at GJ or, you know, AU or something else, then you are going to back test that specific pair. But it's more so just to test and sharpen your trading skills. A completely random pair is the best way to do it. So let's choose GCAD, right? Now, at the moment, I can see price action. So it doesn't really help. Right. Um, if I go to what I normally do, what's the date? So Saturday's the 19th tomorrow. So I've, I've put it to the daily and we'll do a month. So we'll do 19th. Now I'm not looking, I'm just looking at the bottom of the chart. 19th of September, that's a month away. And then I go down to the 15 minute. Right. That's it. That's how I pick my area. Whilst you see some, you know, a few daily candles overall, it's not going to give you a picture of what the 15 minutes doing or how to get into a position. Um, and so the best way that I start is I'll have a look and see what's going on. This is yesterday's price action. So what I'm looking to do now is just start a fresh Asia range. And I'm using my Asia ranges to give me a, a good indication of which way the market's going to go. So let me play out um, our price action to get right so here we go so we've got our first asia range to come in so let me just do this you're gonna hear loads of clicks while i'm doing this to figure out where we are right okay so let's just move that's eight o'clock we're absolutely fine with that so the first thing that i want to consider is initially what's going on here right i've had a few clicks in advance um you see that we've come into the, the day a little bit but all i'm bothered about is what's going on moving forward now i can clearly see that there is an area down at the low. But my first question of the day is what? Does anyone know? Tell me the very first thing that I'm looking to consider as soon as London opens. Philasia. Yeah, and we can already see, actually, there's a couple of candles coming down. So the first thing that I want to see is I want Asia to fill. What type of trend are we in at the moment? Uptrend or downtrend? We're in an uptrend. So longs are better, right? So first off, the thought is price has opened at the high of Asia. I want price to come down and fill Asia. If we break the low, so this is also a consideration we're going to do with everything. If we stop breaking the low, we look for pullback for continuation down. Or if we break the high, we're looking for pullback continuation higher. Right. So there are kind of our, our three ways of looking. Asia fill first off. Or then we're looking to see what's going to happen with price. Actually, now we can see that we've had price stab into an area at the high. And again, the best way to do this is just find your turnaround points. That's all you're looking for. We can go into depth on a few of these trades, but overall it's finding exactly your turnaround point. If you find your turnaround point and it's correct, your entries, you can mess up your entries if you want and you should still be okay. Um, on GCAD, I believe believe the, the daily pip range is around 60 to 70. Okay, I mean, that's a big one. I uh, know. Oh so hang on. Here's the open. Yeah. Yeah. So around 60 to 70 pips daily pip range. So that means we can use a 20 pip stop. If we catch the range for the day, the 20 pip stop, look for six pip move to get a nice one to three. So first off, 
we're looking to see if, if price can then come and fill Asia and see what we're doing for day, right? So let's just get straight into this. We have a little bit of Asia down left at the low. Right here. There we go. Down at the low. So we'd, okay. There we go. We've got to be patient. We've got to wait for our setup. So price has now broken the high. So what are we now looking to do when price has broken the high? And I just want to apologize for everyone watching this back on the recording. I can see there's a lot of people trying to get in the waiting room and I can't just keep adding you in. So unfortunately, if you're late, you just have to watch this back on the recording. So we're looking for a pullback. Yeah. Now, when we're looking for a pullback, what candle, what we're looking for at the bottom of that pullback? A, a 15 minute OB, which is here. Now, and void. That 15 minute OB is too big. It's massive. So what I can do is go down to the next time frame to try and figure out if there is a justified entry on a lower time frame. So I'm going to refine it. For, I'm not going to go straight to the one minute. I'm going to go down to the to the five minute, which is my next time frame down. Okay, there we go. So we have your area right here. Now, like I said, we can use 20 pip stop on this. So what I'm going to just keep this really simple. Okay, 20 pip stop. We can cover Asia low. Um, and I'm just going to look to see what else is going on to the left. We've got a 5 in OB here that has already been mitigated. That's been tapped. That's absolutely fine. We've got this one here, which has also been mitigated. So I've got no real concern about what's going to happen at the low. Um, and my target is going to be the high that's been created. So I can get a one to three with a 20 pip stop on the pullback of a move. Now, if all these trades break through, then we can then, so if we snap through this low now, so let me just do this. If we break through this low, look for a pullback down to this area. But for now, like I said, all I'm bothered about is what's happening here today. So we've got the bullish move. Let's play our price. If we don't get a pullback and we keep moving to the high, then we're going to wait for the next Asia range to be formed for, the, for us to then make a decision in terms of what we're going to do. Okay, cool. Price has come back. Uh, moment of truth. Price is back. Nice reaction to this. Cool. I'm now at break even at this point. All right. And I'm not bothered about timings because what's the time we get in? Getting a bit later in the day. I'm just leaving the position on just to make sure that I can get the areas of turnaround correct. Price playing out. If price comes back, it takes me out break even. But new Asia range starting, cool, and there's your 3%. I decide to go to break even when I get to halfway. Or, or if I'm in a risky area, I'll look for a significant move in my direction to then move break even. So first trade is you've got 3% based on a snap pullback. Now we need to wait for the next Asia range. Are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend still? We're still in an uptrend. Look at that range. Now, Asia's London started. What are we looking to happen again? Right, these are the questions that I ask myself every single morning. We're looking for Asia to fill. So, starting off, actually, let's make, let's make this as easy as possible. Is everyone with me so far, yeah? We have this to fill so far. Let me move this out of the way. The basis, this is where we've started and we've got the new move. I'm then going to look at to see what's down here. We have a little bit of Asia to fill down here at the moment. But the important thing again, do I have any 15-minute OBs in this area that price can come down to? No. So I don't need to be too bothered about price snapping down to this low first thing this morning. I know that Asia needs to be filled here at some point. We can add this on right there. Get rid of that. Now, if we go, okay, cool. Right, so at the moment, I haven't got a position because I've got nothing immediate that I'm going to consider to my left. Price is just dropping. There is no entry for me at the moment. We need to wait for something to happen like we had to snap here for pullback to get that position. A lot of people just go straight in, 
just be patient. We're all actually, I'm going to leave this um, trade on down here and then we can count up. I think it was in there around this point. It was one to three anyway. Let's put it 20 pip stop around here, right? So it was it was definitely, it was like three, 3.7 or whatever. So when we can count up on wins and our losses. Again, at the moment, is there a justified position? There isn't. Have we got an OB down at this low for us to take a trade from? No. Have we snapped the high? We've got one in the middle, but for me, that's no good, right? I want something a little bit better. Have we snapped the high? We've got a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of a wick to the high. I would want a little bit more confirmation, maybe a bigger wick up here, or at least a body closure to justify a pullback entry. Even if we look for pullback entry, there is no 50 min OB at the low. So there's currently no setup for this Asia range. So we just let price play out. Okay. Consolidating a little bit. Now, what I can do. Okay. What we can do, we can put an OB on at this high at the moment because we know for the day. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, that's one. So that's a Friday, Sunday. So that is the ultimate high for the week, for last week. So now we're Friday. Now we've got Sunday open. Ultimate OB for the week. So there was no trade on that Friday. Nothing to take. You got one trade on, on Thursday, no trade to take on Friday. Now we've got a new Asia range. So we've got a potential new opportunity to then see this is Monday morning. Let's get to eight o'clock. Okay, cool. So again, if we have a look at price, um, we have to consider what we're expecting price to do. Um, we have Asia range to fill down here and we have a high up to this area. So we are expecting price to come up and fill Asia range, right? Now, we have, okay, a few candle closures. We haven't, again, got any OBs down at this low to justify anything. I wouldn't be going in off this one. This is just in the middle. If you go in off this one, you've then got the potential, again, of price dropping down here. And, guys, I'm going to do about five days five days price action. I think that's a, a good week's price action to do. Um, so there is no justification, again, at the moment for a long position. But what have we done? Think about it. We broke the lows. So if we broke the lows, if price comes back up into our area the same day, we then look for a short position. So on the basis that we've now broken the low, we want to see if price can pull back to then carry on down, right? But what is my one concern? For those that are on the live calls, you're going to know this straight away but what's my one concern about this ob i've got the ob at the high right so actually i would want the price to do this come up to the high and look for that so let's keep playing out so actually let me put a um risk reward tool on this just um so if we have it so we've got the snap again we can do we could do 20 pips now I need to figure out if it's worth my while. Um, I'll be I'll be um, targeting this Asia loan for a one to three. Right, even better. I've got even more confluences now. Now we've broken this low, which is my target, which is an ideal. But I still have Asia range down here to fill as well. Now again, this has to come back the same day. Come on. We're in New York session. So still no trade at the moment for this day. In New York. What time is this? At 10 o'clock. I wouldn't be in it now anyway. Right? But just for reference, that's have a look. I wouldn't be in this position now. But it's 10 o'clock. We're about to have a new Asia range. It's forming at the high. And the reason that's popped in at 10 o'clock is because that's the end of the day. Oh, look, go around down, get to around. Okay, right, I'm going to move this out of the way for now. Let's put this to the side. 
we have a new Asia range. What are we expecting price to do? So brand new day, we're expecting price to do what? Do I not look at two charts together while back testing? No, nope. 15 minute only, right? So what I'm looking at now, I'm looking for price to come and fill the high. Now, this is for me the ultimate high. We've tapped in at 10 o'clock at night. Um, and so I'm not too interested in um, putting on a session high. Look, it's very, very low. This is the ultimate high. This is the weekly high. So even though we've tapped in, it's still a very valid area for me. Now, I've got to figure out, have I got a potential long position? Now, at the moment, I have uh, that OB has been mitigated. That one's been mitigated. The only OB I've got is down here. Can't cover these lows. I've got one at this point as well that actually, you know what? Let's put that one on. Let's move this out of the way for now. All right. So for me, if price comes back up to this area, I will be looking for a lower time frame break structure. I'm not going in on a tap on the basis that we have kind of mitigated with the daily closure, but I accept it's still a valid area. I can cover these highs to the left with my 20 pip stop. So I'm going to be looking for a lower time frame break structure. Still a valid area for me. And on the basis that we've had a snap to the low, we're making higher highs, higher low. We've got the break. We're looking for the retest to then drop because it's the daily high. Sorry, and the previous weekly high for me. Now, okay, so price has come into this area. Now, I'm not going in straight away on a tap of this. What I'm going to look for is if I can get some type of lower time frame breaker structure. And let me just confirm, if we had any areas above, I would not be looking to take this position. But because this area here is the ultimate, ultimate high in OB, and price is stabbed in um, on the daily close, I still consider it as a decent area. I just need a little bit more confirmation. So... Let me go down to a one minute. Structure points. One here. One here. And again, I think the question is why is it valid? Is that when I'm back testing, I'm just looking just to see if I can just get turnaround points correct. Right? Not trying to be too specific with everything. We've got a break. Have we got an OB at the high? No. So, so far, I've got no valid entry. Price has come back up. I would now wait for this low to break. Got an OB at the high. Damn, mitigated. Keep going. Got an OB at the high. Mitigated. Got an OB at the high. There you go. Right, so now I've got a break. So, what I'm looking for is this right here. Let's put a risk reward tool on and I can then let me zoom out. Everyone understand that so far in terms of what I'm doing? Yeah, cool. Now let's go, let's go 15, right? Okay. So this for me is my entry point. Now, again, covering the highs. I can go, I mean, I don't know, what does everyone think? I can go 20 pip stop just to make it safe, but then I've, I've got to figure out, does it make sense in terms of my risk reward? Okay, I can get a one to three and a half down to the low. Down to this, I'm only getting a one to two. But I'd, for me, ideally it'd be great if I could get 3% down this low, I can't. I'm not going to do something like this just to try and get my 3% because I'm now in that OB, which puts me at risk. So I'm going to stick with my 20 pips. A lot of people just try and reduce your stops as much as possible to get a better risk reward. No, what you want to do is you want to find a, a target which allows you to increase your um, stop to the maximum. Right, so there we go. That's my position that I'm looking for now. Um, we've had a stab in. Watch it not come back now. Come on. There you go. Let's move it around there. Right. Now I've got price in, got a wick projection. What's that indicating that, that wick right there? A bearish momentum. Wick to the high. I've got one, two, three, four. Four wicks to the high. We've got a break. Another wick to retest the area. We've got one break, two breaks on the one minute um, as well. 
Now, I know a lot of people get concerned and they say, hang on a minute, we'll just bounce off this OB. Is this a problem? Are we going to make a higher high? Oh, no, we've got a double top here. Is that going to be a problem? Just trust your analysis. You know what? If it's a loss, it's a loss. It doesn't really matter. If, we, if it's a loss and we smash through, we look for a pullback to an area for continue long. It's like, it's no biggie. I mean, okay, so I've now got one, two, three wick rejections. Boom, right. Now, for those that said, when do I move break even? Let me move this out of the way. For those that said, when do I move break even? Um, either halfway to target, or if you have a concern that price can come back up now and you're worried about this, you could move to break even. But what I need to look at is where can price realistically come back to at the moment? Now, what I see is actually a double bottom. I see that price should attack that area. So I see the bearish momentum in this. We have 50 minute imbalance. So let's say you're not in the position, you've missed it, and that you want to come in. Now you can potentially wait for a pullback to this to come down, but you need to figure out if your risk reward still makes sense. All right. Anyway, I'm in. What are we thinking? I'd be interested. Are we thinking win or loss? I don't mind if people put losses. I'm like, back test, we lose. <laughs> I don't know, don't care. Um, right, I'm going to hurry up. So, what we've got, one, two. So, we've got, we're going to do one more day after this. Look at that. There we go. Boom. Definitely break even now. Come on. Come on. This is when you just sat watching it. And it's messing around at UTP. Happens to everyone. Oh, I've got another Asia range forming. Let's see where we... Okay, we've hit hit TP. Let's see where we were at. Okay, well, we were easily passed. So actually 3% would have been out that same day if I'd just gone 3%. Now, we've hit this low. What I need to consider is... Actually, let's leave that on. What I need to consider... Are we going to turn around at this point? If we are going to turn around this point, there's a potential of flying back up to the high, okay? And then we'll be looking for long positions. That makes my life easier. Are we Are we below? We've closed below. So I remove it. All right? Now, how do I decide when to leave trade overnight? So I did it on EG. It was EG, yeah, EG this week. If I'm suffic sufficiently far enough away like this, from my entry, I'm quite happy to leave it. My, my one problem is if I'm up here, I don't want to leave it because spreads will come and take me out. Down here, spreads can be massive and still only not take me out and my break even is protected. Um, so we add that to there, didn't we? One to three. Um, now we've broken that low. So where's our next target? I never had high, uh, back test high time frame now. Never do it together. The reason is we're looking for 15 minute price action. I trade 15 minute. It's too much of a headache to use high time frame as well. I just like to refine my entries. If you refine, say again, you turn around, turn around points on the 15 minute. Don't really matter what the high time frame is doing when you're back testing. To be honest, um, okay, we are right. You tell me now. Shout in the group. What's my trade, long or short? Short. Pull back short, short, short. Okay, yeah, we're doing shorts. You said it. That's an OB right there. Hang on. That's definitely, yeah, we've got the tiniest little space. There we go. Okay, so we've got, I was looking at longs potential. This is an area. One thing that I would look at, we've got, this is the low, which is my other vital area. We've got this area here as well, which is giving us the big boost to the high. Um, can I, there's nothing that I can really justify off that. I've got two. Okay, no, I think it's definitely short for me. So let's go short position on here. Now, 
20 pip stop let's have a look that's big i'm looking for price to come down to ultimate low this, my only concern about this is turnaround is that's created that huge big ass move a lot of volume in that candle um it's actually a session low um big ass move to the highs i think overall i'd be looking for overall session low come on pull back Okay, that's tapped. <laughs> Joke. Right, okay, get rid of that. Um, now, we're coming to our point. If that had hit this low down here, I wouldn't have taken the trade. Because for me, looking at balancing the market so far, I know we've got this other one down at the low. Um, uh, but for me, this because of the big move and, and the influx and whatever, this is kind of the last Asia range before then we've had the snap and so on. Um, I wouldn't then hold it all the way down to this. I think that's too long. I like to get my one to threes and get out. These are nice short trades. Um, moment of truth. If we break through, then we've got this area to consider as well. Right there. In this instance, would you consider the OB higher up? Yeah, so no, um, not on such a snap. If it was a little bit of a wick, I wouldn't. Yeah, this is tap entry. Um, right, so I'd be in. Okay, now if you if you wanted to consider a lower time frame break structure, I'm already in on this, but let's go down to a one minute and see how that would work as well. We have a break. No OB at the high is there. So let's just keep playing out price action. Price is pulling back. Cool. I would, you've got this here. I'll just do that now. This is going to be the last trade I'm doing, guys. All right, I've got a break of that. So now I've got my new area up here, which is a new OB. Um, right there. Okay, I'd be in. Now, I'm going to see if I can put this risk reward on here as well and then just see what the difference would be in terms of overall risk reward. So this bigger one is the tap. This smaller one will look at the price come down to the low. Um, I would add it, extend it to my temp to the previous one. That's too big. So it's going to have to be 20 pips. Which is there. So I can still get a one to three with my tap um lower time frame breaker structure entry. Should take them both out now. Okay, the call. Cool. There we go. Boom. There you go. All right. That's yeah, there you go. Right. So it's easy when you're looking at it like this because you've got to remember we didn't have a trade on Monday, we didn't have a trade on the Friday. Out of one, two, three, four, five days, we had three potential positions, all of which we weren't too aggressive with. Break, pull back, which is the normal, right? Um, we've then got our snap of the low on the 15 minute, pull back. We've gone for a break of structure because of that OB mitigating being mitigated here, but we took it because it's the ultimate high. And that's given us the snap down as well. Um, and then also we've had, hang on. Then we've got the snap of the low below Asia pull back for the um yeah for the drop down so that's that's decent and we'll take a photo of that boom there we go um there we go so I hope that's been helpful that's how I back test and um this will be uploaded very very shortly and it will be put in the free videos um section of the website so thank you um all for joining i appreciate it sorry for those that couldn't make it in but um yeah hopefully we'll do another one soon it's been a while but um yeah i've enjoyed it so thank you so much for everyone have a great rest of your trading day and i'll catch you soon cheers guys